Edward Joukowsky's exciting new fitness program, Escape Your Shape, is re-sculpting bodies from coast to coast in just 14 days. Now learn the Hollywood secrets of how to dress right for your shape and look 10 to 20 pounds thinner instantly. Hi, I'm Linda Cruz, and I'm here at one of the most glamorous fashion and shopping districts, Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Did you ever see the perfect dress in a store window or on someone else, and then try it on and it was just awful on you? That's probably because it was wrong for your body type. You could spend thousands of dollars on beautiful designer outfits, and it could look like a potato sack on you if it's not right for your shape. But choosing clothes for your specific body type can instantly make you look shapelier and even take 10 to 20 pounds off while you're working your way to a firmer, leaner, healthier body with the rest of your Escape Your Shape program. We consulted with some of the top Hollywood fashion stylists and image consultants who have custom designed wardrobes for film and television. And for stars like John Travolta, Diane Carroll, Julia Roberts, Jacqueline Smith, Antonio Banderas, and Kim Basinger, just to name a few, to teach you how to dress right for your shape. The first and most important step in knowing how to dress right is to know your shape. Look around. We all come in different shapes and sizes. Or do we really? The secret of shape science in your Escape Your Shape program teaches you how to determine your exact body type. We all fall into one of four basic body types. The top heavy cone, the bottom heavy spoon, a straight ruler, or a voluptuous hourglass. Me? I'm a spoon. But you can't tell, can you? And that's what dressing right for your shape is all about. We took four women representing each of the four basic body types and gave them complete style makeovers to show you how to dress right for your shape. Now, this is Julie. She's a classic spoon. Susanna is the exact opposite of a spoon. She's a cone. Now, Natalia is a ruler, straight up and down. And finally, there's Heather. Heather is an hourglass. Okay, so do we all know our body types? I'm a spoon and I'm trying to get rid of these. <laughs> Me too, I know how that is. Okay, how about you? I'm a cone and I have these really big football shoulders. Okay, we can work with that. How about you two? I'm a ruler and I'm just straight up and down. Okay, what about yourself? Well, I guess I'm an hourglass, but I'm too heavy and I don't feel like one. Well, this is what we're going to do. Just by changing their clothes, we're going to make all those problem areas disappear and we'll give them great shapes. Oh, don't worry, I promise you will look fabulous. And so will you. To make the most of your individual shape, there are three specific rules to remember for your body type, and we'll get to those a little later. But first, the second step to dressing right is to shop for your shape, and that's exactly what we did. Our stylist came back with three great new looks for each shape to show you how to dress right for your shape right now. Now, this is Julie, and what she's wearing is completely wrong. She's a classic spoon. And although these riding pants may be hip, they're way too hip for a spoon. The tight tapered stretch pants call more attention to Julie's hips and thighs. And the darker fitted tee makes her look even smaller on the top. So don't waste your money on trends like these. Wear what looks good on you. Now here's Julie after our stylist dressed her the right way. Note how the bold jacket and horizontal striped shirt makes her look bigger on top to balance her out and the darker slim fitted pant and longer jacket help hide her hips and thighs. Once again, Julie before and after. But you don't need a stylist to dress right for your shape. Just follow the few simple rules and style tips we'll give you right here, like this one. Spoons look great in bold jackets, bright colors, and pattern tops. Now, Susanna is the exact opposite of a spoon. She's a cone, broader on top and narrower on the bottom and her dark leggings and big shoulder padded jackets only emphasize that. Now, this is the exact same jacket that looked so great on Julie. Susanna loved the color and it was her size, but as you can see, it's just all wrong for a cone. Now here's Susanna dressed right. She wants to add more volume on bottom to balance her broad chest and shoulders. So these wide leg shorts and platform tennies are perfect for her. And note how the stretch knit top flatters her with a soft shoulder. And if you've got a nice waistline, show it off with a little detail. Now Natalia is a ruler, straight up and down. 
This long, high-waisted, solid-colored, blousey dress makes her look like she has no shape at all. Well, she certainly has shape now. The most important tip for a ruler? Create a flattering, softly dipped waistline with a cinched waist and a great belt. And go ahead and wear a tight tee, but add some interest at the top with a great neck and shoulder line. A slightly tapered pant gives more of a hip line. And don't overlook the importance of a good push-up bra. How do you think the stars get such great cleavage? And finally, there's Heather. Heather is an hourglass, but this baby doll style print dress just hides her figure and makes her look big and kind of blah. But wow, look at Heather now. She thought she was too heavy to wear such form-fitting clothes, but the key for an hourglass is to wear softly fitted fabrics that hug your curves, nothing too tight. And as you can see, this fitted top and cotton capri pants really accentuate Heather's figure. Now it's easy to see when someone else is dressed wrong for their shape, but we don't know how to dress the right way. And sometimes the style we may like the best are the worst for our body type. So don't be a victim of fashion trends. Learn to make your own style, which leads us to the third and final steps to dressing right. Shape your style. There are three basic styles, casual, which we just saw, professional, and my favorite, party. Now, everyone can mix and match all three styles for different occasions. Just make sure you don't get too casual or party too much at the office when you need to look professional, even on casual Fridays. So, if you're a spoon and you need to wear a suit, here are some tips for you. Choose a softly draped fabric like Julie's wearing in a flattering, solid, longer skirt and jacket with lightly padded shoulders. And don't forget to add interest at the top with a contrasting scarf or great necklace. And cones can still look professional without a structured jacket that would only emphasize the cone shape. This narrow, long sleeve v-neck knit sweater gives Susanna a soft shoulder line and the pleated skirt adds fullness where she needs it. For you rulers, like Natalia, wear a fitted jacket with a soft shoulder pad that's nipped at the waist and that hits right at the hip line to create a shaped torso. A contrasting pant helps keep the eye focused on your new hourglass silhouette. And for natural hourglasses like Heather, choose a softly fitted tailored suit with a straight line skirt, not flared, in monochromatic tones. And don't cinch your waist with belts that break up that flattering soft curve. You want an elongated torso so you don't look short-waisted. Now remember, there are three simple steps to dressing right. Shape, shop, and style. But there's still a lot more to come. We've got some fabulous evening wear for your body type and we'll show you how just adding the right accessory can change your whole look. But first, what about the men? Well, the same three steps apply. Most men fall into primarily two categories of body shapes. A ruler, who can be wide all over with those love handles, or thin like Jason. Or a cone with all his weight in his chest and stomach, like Michael. This outfit is just wrong for Michael. This jean jacket adds more bulk where he doesn't want it, and the dark tight jeans just make his midsection look bigger than he is. But look at Michael after we went shopping. He looks sharp and ready for business in this tailored yet still comfortable professional look. The khaki pants are loosely draped with a slightly higher waist that helps even out his cone shape. The dark fitted jacket and button down shirt hide Michael's girth while accenting those strong broad shoulders of his. Now here's Jason. The solid color long shapeless tee and straight jeans only emphasize his ruler shape. But here's Jason after our stylist gave him a great new casual style. Note how the terrific leather bomber jacket gives him more volume on top. We got this classic bomber from the cockpit on Melrose Avenue. The striped knit shirt and heavy sweaters and broad horizontal prints are great looks for Jason too and the softly pleated slacks in a darker shade help give him a fitted masculine shape that's right to a T. And a quick tip for you rulers, just pushing up your sleeves add instant definition to your upper arms and shoulders. So, whether you're a man or a woman, there are three basic steps to dress right for your shape. There are also three styles, casual, professional, and party, and three rules for each body type based on TV and movie techniques to create the perfect slim silhouette. Number one, camouflage. Blending or covering up something you want to hide. 
Number two is illusion, or building up to create something that isn't there. And finally, number three, spotlight, or calling attention or drawing the eye to certain features to give your body a proportioned, well-balanced shape. And we'll get to all three rules custom tailored for you and your body type in just a moment. But first, it's time to party. This is a great evening look for a spoon. The long flared skirt softly drapes to hide Julie's hips. And the long sleeved cinched waist jacket has a broader shaped shoulder that balances the skirt and accents her small waist. Now our cone is wearing the exact same skirt in black. But for Susanna, the flared long skirt adds fullness to her hips. And note how the tight, dark bustier makes her top seem more in proportion. And bare shoulders look great on cones. You've got great shoulders, so use them. Both of these elegant evening looks came from one of Santa Monica's most exclusive boutiques, Moselle's. And here's a less formal party look. This sculpted lycra jacket cinches in our ruler's waist much like a girdle. The straight skirt, high heels, and a solid color really draws your eye to the curve of an Italia's shapely new torso. This soft stretch fabric dress looks great on our hourglass. The high neck and long straight skirt help balance Heather's bust line and hips, while the clingy fabric gently hugs her curves without pinching, binding, or revealing too much. Wow, don't they all look great? And you will too. You know, in real estate, especially here in Beverly Hills, it's all about location, location, location. But in fashion, it's accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. We'll show you how just adding the right accessory can suddenly change your whole look. Remember our ruler, Natalia? She looks a lot curvier already like this, but watch what a difference the right belt can make for her. Voila, an instant waistline. And Julie looks great in a soft business suit. But as a spoon, she wants to add more emphasis to her upper half. And this terrific scarf is just the attention getter she needs. Even changing your hairstyle for your body shape can make a big difference. Susanna's hair worn up makes her shoulders seem even bigger. But look what a difference just letting her hair down makes. And don't forget the importance of coordinating an overall look with the right hose and shoes. Blend your shoes and stockings for a seamless look to give the appearance of a longer leg. Nude is usually your best daytime choice for stockings, and a sheer black gives you that great ooh-la-la -la look for evening. Look how tall and lean Heather looks, and she's only 5'4". Now here are those three important rules we promised you for your specific body type. So get a pen and paper ready, and be sure to take these tips with you when you go shopping. First, for us spoons, hide your hips and thighs with longer, softly flared skirts and pants. But flared mini skirts and shorts are a no-no for you. They only emphasize hip fullness. Then build up your upper body with long sleeves, great jackets, bold patterns, softly padded shoulders, and bras. And most spoons have a proportionally small waist, so spotlight that waistline Scarlett O'Hara would kill for. For you cones, hide the broadness of your bust and shoulders by wearing narrow, slim-fitted tops that break up your neck and shoulder line. But don't be afraid to go bare. Build up your hips with flared and pleated skirts and pants. And if you have great legs, show them off with shorter skirts and shorts and fun shoes that draw the eye down. Now for you rulers, camouflage your straightness by cinching in your waistline. And don't overlook the importance of a great belt. Follow the rules for a spoon and a cone to build up both your bust and hips with light padding on top and shaped jackets that are flared at the hip. Accent your legs with short skirts and sexy shoes that create more curves. And finally, for the hourglass, hide bulkiness on top and bottom by wearing softly draped fabrics. But avoid cinching your waist with wide belts that bind and create bulges. You have nothing to build up, but you want to create an illusion of a softer curve by wearing fitted fabrics that gently cling without being too tight. Keep the eye on that terrific hourglass curve and show off that cleavage if you dare. Now you know the fashion secrets and Hollywood tricks of the trade that can help you create the perfect silhouette and look your best just by choosing the right clothes and styles to dress right for your shape. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going shopping.